We kick things off with our international correspondent, Alex Newman. Alex, thank you so much, and welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Duke. It's great to be with you. Well, a little frowden meeting up a little bit of Shoida, right, as we're looking at some payback now. We've got primaries all across the country. In many places, we see school boards facing the reckoning, conservatives getting elected all over the country, especially in Texas. Talk about what's happening in Texas. Thank you, Duke. Yeah, something uh, phenomenal just happened in Texas over the weekend. Uh, they, had, they have about 1,200 independent school districts, and of those, uh, almost 50 just had elections over the weekend. And what we saw there was an absolute whooping for the radical leftists, the woke, the CRT advocates, the hyper-sexualized advocates of sexualizing children. Uh, they got spanked, demolished, stomped on, however you want to call it. But uh, in uh, Tarrant County, to give you an example, up in uh, North Texas, um, out of uh, 11 conservative candidates that ran, 10 of them won their election outright, and the last one who didn't win outright is now going off into a runoff. So uh, it looks very likely that uh, he will win as well. Uh, even in Austin, right, super liberal. I mean, Austin is like the California of Texas. Uh, even there in the Dripping Springs uh, uh, School District, conservatives managed to flip the board. Uh, just it, basically everywhere where Texas had school board elections, you had massive victories for conservatives, massive defeats for the education establishment, uh, the, the LGBT activists that want to push that on children in the classroom. Uh, now the real question is going to be, is it going to make any difference? That's my question. This is great news, uh, and I've seen this happen in various, across Wisconsin, outside the big progressive cities, we've seen small town after small town begin to take back those, those uh, school boards for the conservatives. But my question is this, what is the left saying? What are the educrats saying? Are they, are they recognizing they've been defeated? Are they depressed and mopey, defiant? Have they, uh, are, is their attitude, we're marching ahead no matter what you idiots do? What, what have we heard, if anything, from the progressive left on this? Well, it, it's like they have no shame, Duke. <laughs> they, uh, they're, they're right now whining about how conservatives want to politicize the classroom. <laughs> I, I, I kid you not, I'm, I'm not making it up. Uh, unbelievable to see this. Uh, pot, meat, kettle, right? Uh, pretty unbelievable to see this happening. But no, what's going to happen here, Duke? I can almost guarantee it because I know so many people who've done this before. I've, I've advised so many people who've managed to uh, take over a school board, who've gotten a seat on the state school board all across the country. It's the same story. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the members of our advisory board for public school exit um, uh, Steve uh, Baldwin, uh, he used to be the uh, chairman of the, the Education Committee in the California Assembly and uh, got a whole bunch of conservative legislation passed on education. And of course, nothing ever happened. None of it was ever properly implemented. After that, he went and he helped get more than 50 conservatives elected to school boards across the state of California. Didn't make any bit of difference. So what happens is when conservatives take a local school board, they'll come at you from the state level or from the federal level. If you take the state level, they'll come at you from the local level and the federal courts. Uh, there, there really is no way to win this battle, unfortunately, because uh, the, the education establishment is so entrenched, the, the momentum of this monstrous machine is so heavy that uh, it'd be like expecting the Titanic to turn on a dime as it's sinking. It's not going to happen. But, uh, you know, I wish them well. It, it is a valuable lesson. The, the people that won these races, these are the same exact kind of people that that lunatic attorney general Merrick Garland uh, was calling terrorists just a little while ago. So it looks like terrorists are now in control of the school boards. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who are unhappy about that. But for parents, don't let your guard down for a minute. This does not mean that it's going to be safe to send your child to a government brainwash. If anything, you're going to have to look harder because they're not going to start stop trying to slip things into your classrooms. They're not going to call haul a moratorium or a halt for the long march of leftism through your kid's school. They're going to be more at the one hand more dishonest about it, on the other hand more brazen. Uh, we welcome these, these moms and dads to those positions. You're going to have a lot of work in front of you. And to those of you who voted, please do not believe that your vote ends this problem. That's, if it's, that's the first salvo or you fought your last. Keep fighting. Absolutely. And, and I tell parents, you know, the first step is get your children out. Then, you know, if you want to try to take over the school board, that's great. Uh, and I, I hope good things will come from this. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. But uh, really, what, what will happen is now the teachers will just be a little bit more devious. The teachers that well, not all teachers want to do this, but the ones that do want to sexualize and brainwash your kids, they'll just have to be a little bit more devious, a little bit more quiet about it. Uh, and uh, you know, the U.S. Department of 
education will be stepping in and providing reason. They did this in Florida, right? When Ron DeSantis said you couldn't force kids to wear masks or you would lose your salary, the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. just said, oh, well, we'll make up your salary, right? So they will find a way to keep the radical brainwashing ongoing. But uh, hey, it, it is a nice black eye for the forces of indoctrination and sexualization and dumbing down. 